Hello everybody, Robbie on here, returning with something that is very, very long overdue. I am starting it off with another series of Go Go Nippon 2016, because apparently two months after I finished recording the last time, after I finished the novel last time, they came out with the 2016 version that I had no idea about until yesterday. And I immediately picked it up and I decided to record it today. So I am very excited to see what they have added to this. I know they added more places. Um, and I hear that another update is going to be coming out soon for 2017. Like they, It's like going to be a yearly thing, I think, until they can't find anything else. But I hope they come out with a sequel to this as well or something like that. But they might have voice actors because of how popular this game was and how popular it is and how much budget they've made off of these. So I'm hoping that that will be a thing, voice actors. But, you know, you can only hope. But, um, yeah, just let, let's get into this. I'm really excited. And I'll start. <sighs> okay, can I make this go quicker? It's no use. My dream is finally coming true. I'd planned to sleep on the plane so I'd have plenty of energy. But I haven't felt the slightest bit tired the whole time. But now... <sighs> I suddenly feel totally exhausted. But... We're now beginning our descent. We ask you to fasten your seatbelts at this time. Mm. I can't go to sleep now. But at last, I'm finally... I'm realizing, realizing my dream of going to Japan. Gotta get those clouds, fam! Okay, so this looks about the same. Except for the text box and the side things. Pretty sure they're different. Dot, dot, dot. This is... That landmass below us must be Japan! Even though it's not really below us, we're in the airport apparently, so... Wow! This is incredible! I've been saving up my money and studying Japanese hard, all in preparation for this day. My beloved Japan, I swear to make the most of my time here. But there's something I have to do first. I'm going to be here for a week. While I'm here, I'll be staying in the home of a Japanese family. I'll be staying with two brothers I met in a chat room, Makoto and Akira. Yeah, that's what you think, buddy. That's what you think. They were so happy to hear I was finally coming to Japan. They invited me to stay in their home while I'm here. So first off, I have to meet up with the two of them. But where the heck are they? I told them when my plane was coming in. I figured they'd be coming to meet me. Dot, dot, dot. Hmm, I don't see them in the crowd anywhere. I don't see anyone who could possibly be them. What am I going to do? <gasps> Wait! The sprite moved a bit! And it's more obvious that it does. Ah! Huh? Um, excuse me. Sorry to bother you, but are you Rabion? Um, yes, my name is Rabion, but... Then it is you! Thank goodness. I thought we'd gone to the wrong gate for a minute there. Um, but who are you? Oh my, I'm sorry. I forgot to introduce myself. I'm Makoto. Masaki Makoto. It's nice to meet you, if that's the right thing to say. What? Makoto, you, you mean you are... And this is... Oh, come on. Don't be so shy. You have to introduce yourself. Ah, uh, there she is! There they are! The screenshot of memories! Ah! Uh. Um. Um. Nice to meet you. My name is Akira Misaki. She tried. Um. If that girl's Bakoto, then this must be. Akira? What? What the? What the hell? Um, um, uh... 
I'm looking you forward to seeing you. Um. Dot dot dot. Hmm? What's wrong, Rabion? Ah. Uh, well, Makoto and Akira, I thought you would be guys? Ah. Uh, yeah. Aren't Makoto and Akira boys' names in Japan? It's always been that way in the manga I read and anime I watched, so I just... That's true. Now that you mention it, we never mentioned that in the chat. And unlike Japanese, you can't necessarily differentiate gender through text in English. Yeah. It's true that Makoto and Akira are often boys' names in Japan. So sometimes results in misunderstandings. But it's not so unusual for them to be girls' names. Like, well, with us. Dot, dot, dot. It's really surprised you, didn't it? Um, yeah. I, I see. Then Makoto and Akira are both girls. I could have sworn they were boys. Huh, wait a minute. And they're both girls, does that mean... I just stumbled into a week stay in a house with two girls? Dot dot dot. I totally did! And now that I look at them, they're both super cute. This might be my lucky day. Oh, you bet you sweet bibby. Drake and Jai for reference if you don't know. <clears throat> now that the misunderstanding is cleared up, let's try this again. My name is Masaki Makoto. I'm studying English literature at a university in the city. I look forward to getting to know you. I'm Rabion. He, <laughs> I know that much. Uh, that's right. I look forward to getting to know you. Yes, indeed. This is my little sister, Akira. Hey, Aki-chan. Nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, what? She seems so happy a minute ago. Why is she giving me the cold shoulder now? Yeah. What is it, Aki-chan? Why are you so angry? I'm not, I'm not angry at all. Oh, don't say that. Are you still mad that he thought you were a guy? Not at all. I said I'm totally not mad. Come on. You're looking so forward to seeing him. <laughs> I was not. I wasn't looking forward to it much at all. Hee <laughs> hee. You're not being honest. That's right. She does that a lot. Uh, nope, never mind. Nope. No, she doesn't. Um. I'm sorry. It looks like Aki-chan is in a bit of a bad mood. Don't take it personally. Uh, but she looks kind of pissed at me. She's not. She's really not. It's just... Just what? She's just at that age. Please don't worry about it, okay? Okay. Well, anyway, now that the introductions are finished, we better get going. I'd like to get you home as soon as possible, but first, I have a favor to ask. What is it? Well, you can speak Japanese, can't you? Yeah, I've been studying it back at home. Good. And from now on, I'd like you to speak as much Japanese as you can, okay? To tell the truth, Kira's English is a little bad. I see. Yes. I had a feeling, judging by her pronunciation earlier. Da da da. Hmm? What? what? But didn't she speak English in the chat room? I translated all of that for her. Ah, oh, that explains that. Honestly, how would this game be if it was two guys showing you around instead? How would it be? Anyway, can we switch to Japanese from here on out? Sure, I understand. Then let's start again. Makoto, Akira, I look forward to getting to know you. Huh? She looks so surprised. Hee <laughs> hee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Then let's get going. Oh wait, no, whoops, that's not me. 
Then let's get going. Okay. Get through our house. First, we have to go into Tokyo. Going to Tokyo, huh? Isn't the airport part of Tokyo? I'm afraid not. We're in Shiba, the perf prefecture adjacent to Tokyo. It'll take a little while to get into Tokyo proper. I never knew that. It's a little inconvenient, but it can't be helped. Tokyo being as small as it is. Tokyo is not small? Is it the biggest city in the world? Uh, oh well. Anyway, I'd like us to head off to Tokyo, but there's one other thing. Listen, do you have a cell phone? Cell phone, yeah. I have one that does international roaming. I see. That should be okay. What do you mean, okay? If you didn't have one, we could rent one at the airport. I was going to recommend renting one, but I think you'll be fine using your phone. Okay, well, let's head out to your... Wait a minute! Huh? W what Take this. Huh? This is a card? What the heck? It's called a Suica. Suica? Yeah. How should I explain? A prepaid transit card? Prepaid? Yes, you top off the value on that card, then touch it to the ticket reader at the station, and it automatically deducts your train fare. It's a convenient thing to have. You don't need to calculate the fare to your destination or worry about buying tickets. Wow, Suica, huh? Sounds convenient. There's another type of transit card in Tokyo called PASMO, but it works the same way Suica does. However, Suica can be used all over Japan, while PASMO can only be used in the Kanto region. So there's PASMO and Suica. I'll have to remember that. There's one more thing to watch out for. A speaker of Pasmo alone isn't enough to get you on a special sur express train. If you want to ride the special express, you need to buy a separate express ticket. I see. Anyway, you can easily buy speaker of Pasmo cards at the appropriately labeled ticket machine. See? Wow, I see. It even has Suica written on it. Wow. Looks like you changed the language of the ticket machine to English. So, even non-Japanese speaking tourists can use it. Yes, that's true. Hmm, okay. I see I can use these machines to top off the card, too. That's right. Do you want to try? Sure. I guess I'll add 50... 100 yen. That's 50 bucks, boy! <laughs> At least in the little thing I did, the transfer. Let's see. Let's see. Press the touch panel, change the English display. Um, choose the amount of charge, insert the money. Whoa! Woohoo! I did it. Very well done. Now you should have 50... 5,000 yen worth of cash stored on your card. Anyway, shall we finally head into Tokyo? Sure. How do we get there? Let's see. There are several ways, but the best method might be a special express train called the Narita Express. So here, a special express ticket. I bought it for you in advance. Ah, thank you, Makoto. I've heard that in Naruto's airport, you can buy a bargain set with a special express ticket that comes with a boarding ticket and Suica card. But only foreign travelers are allowed to buy them, so we couldn't get one for you. But I guess this time we'll just have to do it this way. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, let's use our Suica to get on the train. Just remember that if you're going to use Suica to ride the Special Express, you need to go through the station attendant gate. Why are there so many rules? Like, come on, it's, it can't be that hard. Like, in America, or at least where I'm at, you get on a bus, you buy a pass, and then you swipe it whenever you get on the bus if you get an all-day pass. That's it. second guys my headset's acting up all right guys it seems like i can't fix my headset right now i'm hoping that the mic is working anyway if you guys have enjoyed hit that like button because i'm gonna end this really quickly and subscribe if you're excited for more gogo nippon and i'll see you guys later in my next video Bye bye